Hello friends, my name is Prasad and welcome back to Adda Desi. In today's episode of Unicity Live, we are going to talk about a Unicity that was requested by many of our subscribers. And this Unicity is the University of Florida at Gainesville. But before we move forward, let me get done with my usual request. If you like the work we do, then please consider subscribing to our channel. This is completely for free for you guys, but it will help us a lot with the YouTube algorithm and it will keep motivating us to make such informative videos in the future. Also, subscribers can comment below what university they want me to cover next and I will surely make a video on that. Now that aside, let's start with the application requirements. There are total 6 application requirements in University of Florida. First, an online application that costs around $30. Second, statement of purpose. Third, official transcripts. Fourth, three letter of recommendations. Fifth, an official GRE score. And sixth, English proficiency test that is your IELTS, TOEFL and PT score. The minimum English score requirements are as follows. TOEFL 90 and IELTS 6.5. Average profile of a computer science admit are as follows. GRE 318, TOEFL 104 and IELTS 8. Next, let's talk about the graduation requirements and the tuition fee structure. I'll take a computer science course as an example to talk about the graduation requirements and the tuition fee structure. If you need the specifics about your program, you can comment below and I will definitely reply to that. To complete graduation, one needs to complete a minimum of 30 course credits. This can take at least 18 months or 4 semesters. The total tuition fees to complete 18 months of course for an in-state student would be around $19,110 and for an out-of-state or international student it would be around $45,201. There are additional fees such as health insurance, campus fees and other service fees which may cost around $2,000 more. One thing to note here is that this is just an estimate and tuition fees keeps on changing each semester. Next, let's check out the housing cost. But before that, if you haven't already liked our video, then please smash that like button. Off-campus housing offers affordable options. So many graduate students prefer off-campus housing options. You can visit our website addadesi.com and find many such off-campus housing. There, the average rent for an entire two-bed, two-bath apartment could start around $2,700 and go up to $3,300 and the average rent for per person is around $1,300 to $1,600 per month. Average monthly utility bill is around $140 to $180 per person. You can also join a special Facebook housing group for University of Florida and connect with other interested students. The link is in the description below. And next, let's talk about transportation. Student can use campus shuttle or public transit bus system using their uh, student ID for off-campus transportations. The nearest international airport would be Orlando International Airport, which is around 120 miles from the new city and that takes around 2 hours by drive. Next, let's talk about on-campus jobs. University of Florida has an online job portal for on-campus jobs. You can apply directly in the portal using your resumes even before you start the semester. Intensive students can work 20 hours per week during fall and spring semesters and 40 hours during vacation periods. The average pay at this university could be around $8 to $14 per hour. Certainly, there are some pros and cons of pursuing a master's degree at University of Florida in Gainesville. For an international student, first, let's look at the pros. First, academic excellence. The University of Florida is a top-ranked public research university known for its academic excellence and rigorous programs. Second, strong reputation. University of Florida's reputation attracts renowned faculty Provide, that provide access to cutting-edge research opportunities and enhances the value of your degree. Third, diverse community. 
University of Florida has a diverse student body and provides an inclusive environment offering opportunities for cultural exchange and networking with peers from around the world. Fourth, career opportunities. University of Florida's strong alumni network and connection with industry leader provide excellent career opportunities and job placements after graduation. On the other hand, there are some cons too, and they are as follows. First, out-of-state tuition fees. Intentional students typically pay higher out-of-state tuition rates, which can make attending University of Florida more expensive compared to in-state students. Second, competitive admissions. University of Florida's prestigious program attracts a large pool of applicants, making admissions competitive, especially for popular programs. Third, limited international aid. While University of Florida offers some financial aid opportunities for international students, funding options may be limited compared to those available for domestic students. Before making any decisions, thoroughly research the specific master's program you are interested in and available financial aid and any relevant campus resources. Consider your career goals and how University of Florida align with them. Reach out to the current or former international students at University of Florida to gain insights into their experience and the support available for international students. At the end, as always, I would like to wish you all the very best for all your future endeavors. Please like, subscribe and comment to our channel. And also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram using the link in the description. Thank you.